What's up guys, PowerGPU here. As you can see, I got my uh, GTX 680 in, um, and I still have my two uh, AMD 7970 Sapphire. And uh, as you can see here, I brought it out just so we could do a little comparison as far as um, size-wise. And let's go ahead and continue on to the unboxing. <clears throat> just to let you know guys, I went ahead and got the um, Asus uh, version. Just because, uh, I mean, I, that's all that was really available. They had, they did have the Gigabyte and the, and uh, what was the other one? I don't remember anymore. Zotac. Um, but I just went ahead and went the Asus. I've not, I haven't had an Asus in video card in a long time. Actually, better yet, I've never had one. Um, so let's go ahead and move on here. It's pretty basic. There's not a lot of accessories in this box. Um, all there is is just pretty much the video card itself, a four-pin Molex uh, to a six-pin adapter, and that's pretty much it. Uh, very basic. Uh, the box is nice though. Asus did, did did a really good job as far as the box design and everything with the claw on the front and stuff like that. And then of course the black box and the Asus emblem here on the front. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Oh, don't fall over. Alright, so pretty much uh, here in the in the inside, all you have under here is just the 4-pin Moluxes to a 6-pin and that's it. That's pretty much the unboxing. And here we have the drivers which comes with 300.83, don't use it, it's really bad. Uh, 301.10 is the latest one, and it, the turbo boost does kick in with uh, the newer version drivers. I had a few issues with the, um, the one that the drivers came with, so I went ahead and downloaded the, the, new, the latest one. And EVGA position right now is pretty good, but use MSI Afterburner if you can. Alright, so let's get this bad boy open. <coughs> Very sexy card. Bear with me here, guys. It's actually windy outside. As you can see here at the top, it says Asus. Ah, let me move this out of the way. Alright, so at the bottom you see the PCI Express lane. It says Asus right here in the front in green. And then it's got the 2 DVI and then the HDMI. Um, and then the display port there as well. So you can finally do three monitors off this video card, which finally NVIDIA has kicked in and decided to go ahead and do that. Um, which two gigs of VRAM, I would recommend more, a little bit more than that to do NVIDIA surround. Because uh, easily you'll use about 2.7, 2.6 uh, gigs of VRAM um, on three monitors. And at 2560 by 1600, you'll be around 2200, 2400 on certain games. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, FXAA might help it out because you can still use that and reduce a lot of VRAM. As you can see here, it says GeForce GTX in green. It's really sexy. Yeah, and that's actually 2.6 pin there as well. And if you look at the top, the PCB, which is kind of funny. Um, let me get a little bit closer to show you. As you can see, there's actually a 6 pin there. And then on the right, there's supposed to be an 8 pin. There's two uh, pins missing there. Um, you can see that they've been doing a few testing because there's actually three six pins on that PCB. And there was an eight pin, but they took it off. Uh, so you definitely know that NVIDIA has been doing a lot of tests. A lot of people keep saying that this is the mid-range Kepler, which, I mean, I could believe that. You know, you never know. NVIDIA might want to milk the system, you know, milk something. or Just never know. But yeah, easily you can see probably another card coming out later on this this year. Alright, let's compare the size here real quick with the 7970. It's about one inch longer than the 7970. The same, as far as the thickness, is about the same. Move this down. Yeah, see, it's about one inch longer and the same thickness. Design wise, um, black and green looks really nice. My favorite color is uh, black and red. But, I mean, hey, black and green doesn't look too bad, it looks pretty good. And here's the back. Hold on guys, my bag went flying off the table. <laughs> Put this there, so you guys can see it a little better. There we go. Yeah, one, one good thing I would definitely recommend, uh, the 7970 over the 680, as of right now until they release the 4 gig version. Um, is definitely the VRAM. Um, two gigs, like I said, is enough for one monitor. 2560 by 1600 are pushing it at two gigs of VRAM. Um, NVIDIA surround, definitely, definitely not. And as you can see there, I mean, both cards look 
really sexy and you know guys that I'm not biased towards any cards at all. Um, I usually say, you know, one card's good, one card's not. Um, as of right now, it's a tough call because, you know, in some benchmarks online you saw that um, they uh, they show that the 680 beats out the 7970 in some stuff and then of course 7970 beats it in some other stuff as far as like Metro and stuff like that. Um, just a quick update, I'm going to put the 7970 in my LAN party rig and possibly sell it to see if I could get a hold of a second GTX 680 um, and then uh, just build a new LAN party rig with uh, like a 670 or something when it comes out a little bit later. Um, and just to let you guys know, a lot of people uh, keep asking me if I'm sponsorship and stuff like that. And guys, I'm not sponsorship. This is all out of pocket. I do this for you guys. I do this as a hobby. I enjoy it. I love it. Um, and then later on, as far as benchmarks go, I will be doing a uh, benchmark part one, which is going to be the 7970 versus the 680. And then another one where you'll see temperatures and noise level like that because they do say that the noise level on this card is amazing. And I can tell you right now so far, I have it in my machine right now. And the temperature level is just phenomenal right now. I mean, as far as levels-wise, noise-wise, and stuff like that, it's really, really nice. Um, overclocking so far has been a dream. Uh, you'll see that later on. If you guys go to my Facebook, I did post a preview of Underpower GPU Facebook. I did post a preview as far as the um, overclocking on it on 3 to Mark 11. You guys can check that out on my Facebook. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some more videos later on today. Power GPU signing out. See you guys later.